fucks up. I'm reliably informed that I'm terrible at pimping my stuff. So here I am, pimping my stuff. You can buy most of that shit that I make over at post-mort.com. Hope to see you there. So it's been, what, nine or ten days since Russia invaded the Ukraine completely unprovoked. And it's been depressing and terrifying watching everything go down there. So I thought I'd do a follow-up to my earlier video trying to find some little sorts of rays of sunshine in all of this. I guess the main one is that this is the closest thing that we've had to a just war since, you know, the, the first half of last century. This is a completely unprovoked attack, which is doing horrible things to civilians. It seems to be down to naked expansionism. There isn't really a, a great deal of nuance here. I mean, there is a little bit, but not a lot. There isn't a lot to excuse or forgive what the Russians have, have done or, or are doing. This was also the case with what happened in Georgia. And if this spreads elsewhere to other non-NATO countries around the outside of Russia's border, there will be no real excuse for that either. I've got friends and contacts from the Ukraine. Thankfully, they all seem to be okay. Some of them have chosen to stay and fight and and good luck to them, I guess. Uh, I've also got friends in Georgia who suffered without this kind of reaction from the international community uh, back when that happened in, what was it, 2008? And I have quite a lot of friends in Finland who are worried about the status of Finland if Putin is on a mad tear to reunite all the Russian peoples and create a Slavic superstate because they don't want anything to do with him and they're not NATO either though from their history they're used to giving Russia a bloody nose so it, it's hard to see a positive in all this but I think that Russia and Putin appear to be wrecking themselves on Ukraine is, is probably a net positive for, for democracy. The EU seems to have come into its own, of course, after we moronic British have left, but then the Conservative Party is largely captured by Russian oligarch money, so, you know, kind of predictable, really, and the interference in the Brexit vote, of course. Not good for us here, but for the EU as a whole, more countries now want to step up and speed up membership. More countries now want to step up and, and speed up membership of NATO, which, like it or not, is a defensive alliance. So that's, that's a positive. Countries that have gotten a great deal of criticism in recent years for their anti-immigration stance have thrown open their doors to Ukrainians. Poland, in particular, has stepped up. And while there has been some controversy about them being a bit um, racist and selective about who they let in. Despite all of that, that doesn't quite seem to be as widespread as, as is being reported. And while it's a terrible thing, the fact that they seem to have changed their mind on refugees and immigration is, is a good thing. Similarly with Hungary, though why you would flee the Russians, one oppressive regime, to chase down a place to live in another oppressive regime like Hungary I, I I don't quite know but they seem to be letting people through as well and, and again it's only Britain that really seems to be lagging behind here again the EU has come into its own and stepped up and said basically anyone fleeing from Ukraine can stay in the European Union for up to three years no real questions asked which is a, a wonderful thing to do and will help spread out um, the refugees from putting all of their strain on Poland so that that that's something good and positive I think the fact that the world has been so united on this that sanctions have been rapid and swift and so absolutely swinging 
even the arms have been delivered to Ukraine in, in short order uh, by many, many countries. That's a good thing. That many countries that have traditionally sat on the fence, like Switzerland, have taken sides. That's a good thing, I think, and it shows how serious it all is. So, war is terrible and horrible and should be avoided at all costs, particularly with nuclear armed powers involved. But we have a rare moment of international unity here. It has cause the EU to mature and to become more of a real power in the world. It has changed attitudes around refugees and immigration. Hopefully that will be less bounded by race in the future. So there are there are stars in the night sky here. Positive things that can happen, will happen hopefully as a result of all this once we get past all the all the darkness and horror on a personal level it has been interesting to see that my previous video on ukraine when uploaded to youtube got barely 500 hits but over on odyssey is verging on 20,000 hits and that's on an also ran so far as video sites are concerned without as big of an audience it just goes to show how suppression on youtube massively affects news and politics presentations delisting them particularly if you're not a a trusted news source it's just a pity that odyssey seems to be still full of russian trolls and far-right nutcases and conspiracy theorists and other bullshit artists but it does seem that if you're into independent news media and commentary, Odyssey is a is a better bet than YouTube is. And that's uh, shocking, really. But here we all are. And we all need more trusted news sources as the news environment gets distorted by this war as well. Saying. It's been called misogynistic, racist, a hate group, reactionary. It's been blamed for Trump for keeping women out of games and technology. None of this is true. If you want the real story, then you need to buy Inside Gamergate. <sighs> Grimm gave a big yawn and settled down to sleep. And of course, when Grimm goes to sleep, all of his friends go to sleep too. The people on the internet were just text on a screen. The collectibles were just cheap plastic tat. And the books were just elaborate sandwiches made of wood and paper. Even Grimm himself, once he was asleep, was just an old saggy goth twat. Baggy and a bit loose at the seams. And nobody loved him. This is not a time to be dismayed. This is this is punk rock time. This is what Joe Strummer trained you for. It is now time to go. You're a good person. It means that means more now than ever.